Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And in this video, I want to just do a roundup of all the figures that were released or announced at the Hasbro Con 2020 or the Hasbro Pulse Con. So my previous video, I shall leave a link below, was all about the Razor Crest. Just talking about that mainly, but at the end of that video, I did touch upon some of these figures. Some bizarre ideas, maybe some good in them, but you know, Bruh. overall, here are my thoughts anyway of them. So here they are, here's the six. I'm also going to go onto Instagram as well and look at Hasbro Pulse's images. So, let's see what else is below here. What else have we got here? Oh, here's the other stuff. That Cody looks, that's coming out again. Uh, in fact, we're going off piece here. Let's stay on what we're, what you've probably clicked on. Some of the decisions, as I say, boggled my mind. Uh, Flame Trooper there, we're going to look at him in a minute, so stay tuned. Also, at the end of this video, I will talk a little bit more about the Razor Crest. So anyway, we'll talk about that later. But for now, let's start on Rex, hey? Now, I, I'll be honest, I'm doing a second take here. The microphone wasn't on. <laughs> but um, one thing I noticed when I was filming that video was that I, I think I know where this image is based on, basically. Tim from Bosk's Bounty, he likes this image. He likes that. He, he said that when he thinks of Rex, he sees that. And I can understand that. You do think of Rex when he does that a lot, doesn't he, in images. I personally, if you want to know my opinion, I didn't really like the car back when I first saw it. I didn't dislike it. I just thought, well, I've seen better images, images of Rex. I thought it looked too cartoony. But however, I know why I think that. Because look at the car back. That purple thing, I know what it is. The first time you see Rex is in that battle, in that city when they've got that massive force field going over them. Brilliant strategic move by Anakin in that whole scene with Ahsoka. Fantastic sequence. That's what I think it's based on. You can almost see the building in the background there. So now I like it, now I've realized that, but what I don't like is this figure. The figure is appalling. Bruh. We've said for Yonks that the quality when they brought that figure out, 2013, whenever it was, massive nosedive in quality compared to the art trooper commander one of my favorite figures ever they had the potential of doing something special for rex here you got to understand the thinking is it's probably cheaper for them to do this repack that but that was a terrible figure it look i say terrible it looks all right you can see quite nice detail on the helmet but the helmet was undersized hard goods cape not a patch on the art trooper commander basically that was my point on that one i'm just sorry that they didn't warrant it worth an upgrade you know Still, of the ones that they have shown in this Hascon, is by no means the worst. This TIE Fighter, I've got a problem with this. Damn it, we are in the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. This was their opportunity to give us the Empire Strikes Back badge, at least on this card back. I mean, this is an expensive card in the vintage collection. Even back when I first started collecting it in 2016, that's when I really went for it. This was one of the more expensive ones. 50 quid if you were lucky. 40, 50. I don't know what he's worth now. But look at that image, man. That is an Empire Strikes Back TIE Fighter chase. The original card back was an Empire Strikes Back card. Why they have decided to give us the Return of the Jedi other than the fact it might be easier for them. Give us some variancy, man, for God's sake. When they do cards like that, I mean, it's not, an, it's not a Return of the Jedi card. We all know that it's Empire Strikes Back. I can understand that Hasbro are tipping the hat to the yesteryear, the past. This is C-3PO on an, a New Hope image card, right? Well, the image is New, is New Hope. Badge, Empire Strikes Back. That is because back in the 80s, they were famous, Hasbro, or Kenner back then, for re-releasing images for the new films. Like, when The Empire Strikes Back came out, they just re-released the same card, with including the image, and the figure was the same, obviously, as well. But that is a New Hope image of the Stormtrooper. That's a New Hope image of 3PO. But The Empire Strikes Back badge is on there. But where do we stop? Why do we have to have it again? Why haven't we had, like, a 3PO in the... Uh, on a New Hope badge. I wouldn't mind, it's just the fact that this is VOTC from 2004. In, 2000, in 2010, bang, we got 3PO again on an Empire Strikes Back. And Jesus, 2020, bang, he's back again, 3PO. Unbelievable. 
unbelievable. That is so lazy or complacent or lack of vision or flexibility or something. You can put in the comments that they're doing it to save money. They can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want, but they're not giving us what we want or what I want anyway. Variancy, man. Unbelievable. And I would have loved if they brought that out on an Empire Strikes Back. Unbelievable. That's what I think of that. Ridiculous. Moving on. This. Oh, God. I'm, I'm pretty in full-on rant mode here. Um, the only good thing going for this is the fact that he is so expensive. For new collectors, they've got a chance of getting him now, cheaply. But of all figures to bring out Peasant Anakin. What? The only thing that I like about this is that I don't have that loose. So I would like it loose. But if they were going to do something to, to incentivize or excite the fans... They could have given us something we haven't got, like, for example, I'm going to talk about her in a minute, but Padme Amidala, Padme came out on that line of figures, I've done a whole video about that as well, if you want to talk about the orange line or interested in that, all these figures should have been vintage cards anyway, they should be doing that now, they should be getting around to putting these on vintage cards, they could have brought out Anakin on a standard card, for a standard Padawan Anakin, and also given us and an arena, an arena Padme. Instead, because they can't be bothered, they're bringing out him like that. But the plus side is, I can get him now loose, because I wouldn't want to open the other one, he's way too expensive. And people who don't have that figure, who don't want to have to spend over the odds on the secondary market, could now have that one. But again, speaking of over the odds, priority, is he really that necessary? When there's figures like this that could do with a re-release and that and like Tarkin figures that are astronomical on the secondary market you could have given us granted this one is actually quite expensive so for loose collectors you've got another chance now but do you really want the peasant one <laughs> i don't know i don't buy it i don't buy it man which brings me to her now let's start with a good this is one of my favorite card backs for The Phantom Menace. I was gonna do a top, a top five favorite cards. She'd probably be in there. That image is Queen Amidala through and through. I'll sign no treaty, Senator. Captain, ready my ship. That image is just her from the trailer. See, I think it is in the trailer for Phantom Menace when she spins around. Good image figure, more like a statue than anything. But um, I just thought, oh, all the things you could be choosing out of this line of figures. Why in the world would you choose that? <laughs> I don't understand it, man. Do you? It's crazy. It's not like she's like really... So no disrespect to Natalie Portman. She's brilliant in that film. But Christ Almighty, that would be so much more significant, wouldn't it? They just cannot be bothered, can they? Even from the Phantom Menace, you know, something a bit more desirable, like maybe because they brought out the, um, they brought out Darth Maul recently. I'm sorry, you don't know where I'm looking. I'm in a carded room here, if you don't know. I'm in this room that you're seeing right now. You know, the Emperor. I've noticed that Sidious is going up in value on the secondary market. I don't remember her going for that much. But again, that might have changed. It's been a while. And finally... This one, well, I understand a bit better, except the fact we're in 2020 now, as opposed to the 20th anniversary year, which was last year. This battle droid is obviously good for, uh, I can't even think, sorry. This is a good choice for uh, army building. So that I can understand. Armadala, don't get it. This one I do understand, so that's good. But still, again, it's another slot that has been filled by something we've had before when we could have something new. Please don't say in the comments that it's easy for them. They're trying to cut money down. I understand that. I, I appreciate that. But they're also making a ton of money out of us anyway, because we're all buying this stuff. Why aren't they investing this money into newer stuff, you know? I just don't understand it. But anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the, in the comments below. Um, with regards to the Razor Crest, I'm very excited. A lot of people were saying, why don't we get Shan Crawler? Well, the reason you didn't get a sand crawler was probably because they could do that in the future. Sand crawler, I feel like I've just got a sand crawler from them. I have got a Jabba sail barge, which is a huge brown vehicle 
that crawls over the sands of Tatooine. Sandcrawler would be too similar to that. People have said that they could have put the Razor Crest in the standard vintage line, but I think that you're paying for uh, quality here. The features of this Razor Crest, can I find any images of it? Are gonna kick ass. But then again, I'm, re I'm really scratching my head. Why was that Falcon 400 quid when this is 350? Don't understand it. It's literally cheaper than the Falcon was. So that, that's got me, uh, got me scratching my head. Very puzzling, very strange. I think that Sandcrawler would be good in the fullness of time and also the Rebel Transport, that would be a great idea. That, that, that I can understand these people's arguments. Make use of the crowdfunding thing um, for getting you know real premium items, but this will be premium and it will be big and it's heavy. I know that much. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. I don't usually get that irate, but still, to be honest, sometimes when I, you know, it's a love-hate thing with Hasbro. I love some, certain stuff, but sometimes I think, what are you doing? You know, who is making these decisions? Are you watching now? Answer me directly. <laughs> I want to know your thought process. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.